Hey, it's Cliff, and if you're thinking that my image quality is bad in this video, you are correct. Unfortunately, to do a video on the NFT marketplace, I needed my phone, which is what I normally record with. So I'm using my webcam right now. Um, I would uh, eventually I want to work up to getting a independent camera that I can use, but right now just don't have the money to do that. So I do have... Uh, information in my description if you want to help me out with getting a camera but anyway we're, we're gonna get right into this video as you can see what I got pulled up is the Sologenic Dex and we're just going to select uh, Solo Dex and so you can see here's the exchange that Solo is using there's a drop down here to see all the different trading pairs so what you need to do if you haven't done this already, and I think a lot of you probably have because you're using the solo decks to get your airdrop, but you're going to want to go up here and link your wallet. And you're going to need solo to mint these NFTs. So what you can do is you can send XRP to this address and then just convert it to solo. So this, this platform makes it really easy for you to do that. And then what we're going to do if you look up here, you can see NFTs. That's going to be the NFT marketplace, and you'll get this uh, banner up here. Basically, all this is saying is that this is a beta version right now, so you cannot purchase NFTs right now. You can only mint them, and you cannot sell them either, obviously. So when they launched this, there was a few bugs that took place on the, the buy button, and they're working to rectify those issues. But this is it. This is our NFT marketplace. I like it. it looks pretty clean one of the downfalls that i will say of the marketplace right now that i've noticed is that it loads very slow and it could be partly my internet connection as well but it's just something that i've noticed when i've been messing around with it when i when i go for like a motion nft page it's definitely slow and loading it's almost like i'm on dial up but you can see the different tabs here they have art which is going to be your standard nft you know you can check out all the different collectibles and one thing i notice here is they have explicit content so i don't know if that's for like people that are going to link their only fans or whatever to this but i thought it was interesting but you can kind of see all the different nfts that they have on display so far it's pretty cool one thing that i haven't seen before is they have a music tab and you can see people have linked pictures but they also have music inside of these. So you're buying the music on the blockchain, which I think is really cool. Hmm. One thing I did notice there was a, there was a clip of Hunter Biden that someone recorded and it was this one, him and like rehab. I don't know if this is legal, if someone can like take this private call and somehow put it on the blockchain, but it seems kind of sketch but people are doing it they're putting whatever they want on the blockchain so anyway they have different motion version of nfts like i said see it takes a little bit to load but if you wait around they do load eventually i'm not gonna waste your time waiting for all of these to load but just know they have moving nfts if you want your metaverse characters they're all on here you can buy different setups of those as well as different sports nfts are all here and there's trading cards which i think is pretty cool because i used to play um magic the gathering back in the day and like pokemon Yu Gi Oh. so an idea of how to having a trading card game is that's pretty cool to me and there's collectibles Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like the collectibles want to load very fast, but they're pretty much just your, your standard NFTs. There they go. And others, which is just random things that people have created or memes, you know, just oddball pictures. So Anyway, for minting your NFT, you're just going to go up here, click Mint. And it's going to take you to this page and it's going to ask you for a collection name because on this you can mint multiple nfts inside of a collection but you 
for every NFT you do mint, you have to have a collection name. So for this one, we're gonna call it Grumpy Dog Collection. And then also you can add a description in here. There's images for the collection itself as well as background images, but I'm not gonna go that in depth with it. But if you're trying to sell something, I would definitely suggest you actually deck out the page as well as your profile. And so here, here's the image that we're gonna add. It is my grumpy dog. And this was previously in there, but I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick. So all this is saying is that when you mint an NFT, it costs three solo. So that's about $1.50 right now. And what you're gonna do is you're just going to confirm it. And it's going to ask you to sign with your solo wallet. So you will get a message to your phone. You're just gonna click that message. It's gonna show you the transaction in that message. You'll click sign. And then it'll ask you to enter your password. Click done and then click confirm. And then it'll tell you it was successful. You click done on that again. And it pops up like this. So it's pretty simple. You're just gonna drag the image that you wanna copy here. You upload it there, and then you're gonna put a category in. It's the same categories that we already went through. So for like the one I'm uploading, it's gonna be art, and you'll put in your name here. So I, I put in grumpy dog, and then a description of that NFT. I just put in, this is a grumpy dog, something like that real quick. Now you can put a external link in here if you have like a business page or something you wanna add, people can find you at. Um, can go to properties here. What this does is it just kind of optimizes the search. If say someone are, they're searching for dogs or something, you want to put that in the type and name, you know, it just gives you a little bit more range of what people can find. Type is just going to be art or maybe a painting or something like that. It depends on how you want to define it. But this, all of this is just search engine optimization. And for value, we have one of one, but maybe you're trying to do trading cards or something and you want 12 of a certain card. You can do that and you can sell 12 different versions of that card. But for this, we're just going to do one of one. Also, if you have explicit content or sensitive content, you want to hit this check mark here. But we're not doing that because we are just minting this dog right here so you can see it was a, a painting that we found of my dog he was he was just waking up and he was very grumpy so what you need to do here is you'll have to sign this for 10 xr 10 xrp so you hit activate and you'll get another transaction You'll hit sign again. Just got to put in my password here. Hit confirm. It'll show up that it says successfully signed. And you're good. Go back here, hit sign. And then you'll have to sign the transaction. And hit done again. And you'll see transaction signed and dispatched and it seals your NFT here. You can see as it just changed over and then you just hit finish. 
So you get a pop-up. It's going to say that your NFT collection has been successfully sealed and is placed on the minting queue. The process may take a few seconds to a few hours. And you just hit confirm. And so it hasn't worked yet, but you can see this is a previous one that I minted, just a different different form of it. So the first time I, I did this, it only took a few seconds for it to pop up, but it looks like this new transaction is gonna take a little bit longer. And there it is showing up for activity. And let's see if it's gonna populate. This is my NFT, says painting of a dog waking up grumpy. One of one copies. And yeah, I, I think this is gonna take a while to be minted, but just know it, it eventually, once it is officially done, it's gonna populate and show up here. And then you'll have possession of it. And in future videos, we're gonna walk through and show you how you can set up an auction to sell these different NFTs, or maybe you just wanna sell them outright with a certain price. And yeah, it, it really just depends on what you're doing. Maybe you're a musician, maybe you're an artist, you know, it just depends on your, your craft. So if you guys have any questions about this, just uh, let me know. Again, I'm sorry about the poor webcam quality camera. I just I don't I don't have a nice Canon camera to work with. I usually work from my phone. So yeah, if, if you have any questions, just uh, comment down below.